It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders. And it's all up next. This building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, two NFC clubs going head-to-head, -head, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Washington Commanders. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, They'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon and we are underway from FedEx field and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line so here are the commanders making their way out and they will be let out by their rookie quarterback and you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game but haven't seen any sign of them right now and speaking with him earlier this week, sensed that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. That'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Daniels. Caught out left side by Robinson. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Buying time to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there. No hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 13 yards there and a Washington first. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage and a first down. Throwing on first down, Daniels. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Kyler Gordon, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Looking to throw. Daniels. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, 
when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And he can't escape, and down he goes. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And this will be a Bears first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon here's Williams on first down and that's out to the flat for Swift the result only four yards there on the play and it's second down Now a toss for Swift left side. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. That is caught, and he will have the Bears first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it, and were able to keep the drive moving. On first and ten, it's Swift. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and a couple. And he's going to use his legs here. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. I do know that owners, when they watch their quarterbacks run with the football, they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise. But when you're getting that kind of a game, hard to argue against calling it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. And I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times, the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball, and they're the ones dictating to the defense. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish it not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. 
The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Back to throw. Williams. And that one too wide and incomplete. The Commanders defense holds and that'll bring up fourth down. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears field goal. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race, and they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch, and you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together, but that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And he returns this to the 22. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Here's second and three. This is Swift on the counter. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. And they run the option here on first and ten. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. 
Read option, quarterback kept it, and while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Second and a couple. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. The Bears on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Here comes the Bears punter now. The back deep is Dax Mill. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and ten upcoming. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. To throw on second down, Daniels looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And McLaurin going to pick up a commander's first down as the tackle made up around the 33-yard line. Looking to throw. Daniels. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 33. And that play started back at their own 33. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Eckler now between the tackles, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Off the play fake. Daniels. Ertz over the middle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 22 yards there, a first down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Operating from the gun, Daniels. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but it'll be second down. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Throw right side complete to Dotson. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there 
forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. From the right hash here should be an easy one. The kick by McManus is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Play action. Williams. His throw incomplete. Second and ten. Operating from the gun. Williams. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope that they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. Williams steps away to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Dorrance Armstrong drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. The third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fit defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. That's taken it around the 40. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Now a second and ten. Off the play fake. Daniels. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 23 yards to pick up there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. It was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. Our score, 10-3 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Sets up the screen to Robinson. 
Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. Third down at six. Looking to throw. Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And if they're throwing on third down, it's a good bet. They're going to look his way. He's the most reliable of their receivers. And he comes through there with a nice grab for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin. 15-yard touchdown Brown, And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Now McManus for the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So the drive there took six plays, and it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Well, the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Now Williams. Throwing to start the drive. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry up offense. Williams, a final shot before break. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be taken down right away up near midfield at the 47. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Seventeen three, the score as we resume action for the second half on EA Sports. Valus Jones now from his end zone, and he'll get it up past the twenty to about the twenty-two. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. 
Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. From the 29, here's second and three. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Williams. And his throw is incomplete. Just what they need, Electra for me, but set power offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Williams. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And he'll get this out past the 45 to the 47. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. But I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Going to let one fly for Robinson. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Well, it certainly felt like he was going to challenge this defense no matter what. And he stepped up and tried to throw it to the outermost edge of the zone coverage. And they were more than ready for him. The problem now is if they are limited in what they're doing throwing the football, they got to figure out how to move it without being able to throw it to the outside and throw it downfield. Now a play fake here on first down. He finds his target, Allen. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 23 yards, the final tally. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. A handoff swift running to the left. They juked him, and they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 14 yards into Chicago first down. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is? It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again, Williams. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 30. 
Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield and break one off. But a nice game there for a first down. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Off play action, Williams. A little short pass, this is Everett. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's gonna bring up third and two. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run right here with Swift. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. On is Santos for the Bears field goal. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. Santos kick is up and through and a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now it's 17 to 6. Well the three points certainly helps but you feel like Charles at this stage of the game when you force those turnovers you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the counter, this is Robinson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 43, here's second down at a yard. Again, it's Robinson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They go play action here on first down. He completes this one to Terry McClure. And he's got this down to the 35. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three.
Here's second and seven. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And that one too high and incomplete. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Looking to throw. Daniels. Here's a screen for Robinson. And it's a fumble. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, you had an offense working with a comfortable two-score lead here in the third quarter and certainly doesn't feel as comfortable now following the turnover. Yeah, you're right about that because now the nerves start to come into play a little bit. You're a little bit jangled. You don't want to give your opponents any avenues to get back into the game. What you'd rather do? And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. From the 20, here's second and five. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. No gain on the play. And it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. From the left hash, this from 37. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. For the Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see. And now off to the races, down the right side. 81 yards on the ground here for Swift, and he's got a first down as well. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. 
They work now on second and nine. Operating from the gun, Williams. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 36. A gain there of 21 yards. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. Now he'll try to run with this. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Jameen Davis, the one to get up from his linebacker spot and make that play. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Williams now looking to throw on second down. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Back to throw. Williams. Flushed out right. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Like any team plan, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll run again here with Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Robinson up the middle. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he'll take this to the 46. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Second down and a run by Robinson. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. 
Operating from the gun. Daniels. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So now the Bears down by two touchdowns, a minute 50 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Here's Williams throwing to start the drive. Finding Allen, and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Now Williams to throw on second down. Gets this to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Williams on first and 10. He'll fire deep looking for more. That's caught inside the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say make a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And this is caught on the sideline. But no, they'll say out of bounds. He caught it, but was not in bounds. Incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Back to throw again. Throw out wide is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Washington will have it on the turnover on downs. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> they're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Robinson on a give right side. 
And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, that was a third and long run, and to me, that was just a wave the white flag kind of a situation. Obviously, they don't want to risk the chance of throwing it downfield and risking a turnover in this section of the field. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.